we'll move on though. We yeah. had co main event. Uh dude, come on. Rotang, come on. Jitmanon versus Dennis Purich. Come on, dude. And look, let's get this out of the way early. Rotang missed weight, right? The elephant in the room, yes. The elephant in the room. He missed weight. He's missed weight in the past, yes. Um no excuses for missing weight. It sucks. None. It sucks. Um it's a bummer. And what was it six you know, pounds, he, was it? Yeah, something like that. I mean, when it's something like that, it's just like, hey, we're not going to make weight. I'm done killing my body. It's not like that's the closest he could get probably, you know. Um, but he talked about, you know, he's coming off the hand surgery. He couldn't train for like three months. They book him this fight um, almost as a warm-up kind of to for the Takeru fight. Hey, you had surgery. Here's this fight before you fight Takeru. That way you're not coming off a of surgery, missing weight for Takeru. You're missing weight for a kickboxing match where your belt's not even on the line type thing. You know what I mean? Um, Genevieve's saying, hey, I mean, he missed uh, hydration too, so he definitely tried. That's a good point. Yeah, but a lot of times people miss hydration just because of the travel and they just weren't drinking. Especially if if you know you're not going to miss weight, you're not chugging water to make hydration. You're just like, yeah. I feel... Because a lot of times fighters will say, yeah, I, feel, I felt fine and then I missed hydration. I was like, what? I felt fine. I didn't realize uh, that type of stuff. Um, Blunderbub says, I have to get this off my chest. Thai fighters can do no wrong. Miss weight. Fuck it. I don't care. You've been fighting as this living since you were like six. Give me a banger and all is forgiven. <laughs> True. Yeah, he does live in Thailand, but I, I just mean collectively, like a lot of times fighters will miss hydration. Like you hear, I mean, the Rotolo brothers have failed hydration on their first attempt and then they have to come back and they're like, I thought it was fine. I don't even cut weight. Mikey doesn't cut weight. He's failed hydration. Um, it just happens, you know. Um, True. And shout out Chester. Thanks for joining us. Don't sleep hey, on us old guys out. in Southern Canada. Watch oh, Canada. <laughs> hey, as soon as uh, this is done, I'm going to go through and watch back the uh, Canadian Grand Prix. Formula One, baby. <laughs> All right. Back All right, to the fight, though. Rod Tang, get one on. Then he missed weight. Dennis Puri says, I don't give a fuck. I want Rod Tang. I don't care what he weighs. And I Props, want that. by the way. A I want that dog, seventy thousand dollars of his contract of his his purse that is now mine. For a little incentive, little yeah. incentive. I'll take it. That being said, this fight. If you haven't seen Dennis's last fight, uh, everyone knew he wins that fight. It was a dog fight. He calls out Rod Tang, and I'm like, you know what? Actually, that would be very fun. They give it to him, and this is going to be nothing short of a banger. There's no way this fight was going to disappoint. When he missed weight, I was like, please let this fight happen because it's going to be amazing. And it was. And Rod Tank comes out. He's dancing. He's vibing. You love to see it. Yep. And then they just go to war. It was fucking incredible. Right were off the bat, how, man. Were you surprised how slippery Rod Tank was? He's elusive in this fight. Yes, but, but, but. And this is the thing, right? Like, look, dude. Rod Tang, he is, what would you say he's their biggest draw? Yeah. Him and Stan, so, right? probably I, Rotang. I know that there's favoritism towards Rotang. You hear it a little bit from the mm -hmm. announcers. The announcers are like, oh, my God, look at the movement. Dude, Purich caught him a few times. Oh, yeah. Well, That left that's... that left hook landed square on the nose multiple yeah. times in that first round. Literally in the middle, I think it was Mitch that was like, oh, my God, look at his head movement. Crack. Right yeah. on the nose. And I'm like, dude, he's getting caught. Yeah. And, you know, I liked uh, – you know, Rotang was a lot more elusive this fight than he has been in the past. Rotang is pretty hittable. He gets hit a lot, right? And he mm -hmm. tanks it. And that's kind of like where he got his like fame from. And yeah, he a little shimmy after he gets rocked, you know? Yeah. And let's pull it up real quick because Dennis is the same way. They're cut from the same cloth, huh? Look at this. Oh, fucking, yeah. Look at the end of the first round. Look, look at, at these guys. Gets, <clears throat> this is after Just, he had already gotten rocked, right? Yeah. Look at and then that and one. You could see the stumble. Oh God, that's the one that really hurt him. And he was like, "Oh wait a second. Look, look, yep. He's like, I'm oh, facing Rod Tang right now. Probably should guys... be eating him like that. But he still kept, despite being rocked. He didn't just start circling away. He wasn't running away or anything. He's still standing there throwing his shots. Uh, and then the teep knocks him down. I mean, just it, it was such a banger. How about in the second round when Pudish is on his back leg and Rod Tang throws five straight body shots? Dude. Right, left, yeah. right, left, right. Up until Peter's just right up against the cage. I'm like, oh my God, how is he and, still standing? And part of that was because of this, dude. 
left hook to the body, left hook up top, Mike Tyson style. So the next time he throws a left hook to the body, Dennis is like, oh shit, here comes the left up top. No, here's a right to the body. And then another left to the body. It was just, he mixed it up so well. It was such a good fight from Rod Tank. Both of them really were there. Um, uh, yeah, and I think uh, yesterday, right? Because I joined the I joined the uh, live stream last night. Was that? Yeah. Yeah, shout out my mom in the chat. Oh, what's up, Colleen? Oh, I didn't Hey, shout out, Colleen. But yes, I, I joined last night and somebody said, and just like that, everybody's going to forget yeah. that he missed weight. Yeah. His performance was so good, right? Because they went toe to toe. They went to war. And Pudich, dude, look, fantastic performance from him as well. Yeah, it truly was. You know what I like? I enjoyed Pudich? it. What he started doing is he would swing that big left hook, and he was landing it a couple times, but sometimes he would swing and miss big. And you're like, dude, you cannot yes. keep doing that. So what and he that, did was – When he would do that, though, that's when Rotting would look extra elusive because yeah. he would just lean back and you'd see a giant yeah. like left. So that's what made him look extra elusive. But then, but I thought in the first like the first two minutes of the fight, I thought Rod Tang was slipping and bobbing and weaving really well and exiting on angles. And then once that that fifty second mark hit and Pure started screaming at him, he was like, "I'm Rod oh, Tang. We're going to war. You're not going to out dog me right now. <laughs> Fuck all this elusive shit. I'm about to throw down with this dude." But I really like Dennis. He would throw that left hook, and if he missed it, he could fully commit to it because he started chaining it. He could fully commit to that left hook because if it lands, you're cracking him. If it misses. You're out. You're off balance, but he would use that momentum to throw that turning sidekick the same mm. way. And I thought that was such a great addition to do mid-fight because then you can keep committing to it, and you don't have to worry about really getting counter because it's hard to hit somebody while they're spinning and throwing a kick. You either have to be True. in or out and, and defend it. Um, and these guys just—I mean—they just went to war, dude. This is everything yeah. you could want. I mean, look at the the photos. By the way, I there was like fifty. And I was like, I have to limit this at a certain point. I can't put them all. I mean, and, uh, hey, by the way, just... uh, again, shout out to Juan, shout out to Cyrus, shout out to the entire team, right, for one, allowing us to show footage every once in a while, oh, yeah. uh, sharing yeah. media. It's, it's fantastic. It makes it so much better. And it makes it better for everybody that watches and listens, uh, especially those that watch, right? Um, yeah. But no, yes, Pudich, great performance, man. Raw Tang continues being a superstar. Missed weight. Oh, well, uh, I'm with Blunderbub. Let him miss weight, right? Let it happen. Fuck I don't it. care. <laughs> Dude, just if they're gonna continue putting fights on like that, come on. The, by the way, main event for UFC or one one sixty seven. Uh, like if you're putting head to head, head to head. Yeah, I'm taking Tomlin Shai versus Smoking Joe over Imovov and Cannoneer. Right, Dude, and then Co-main? the Raw Tank versus Pudich. Dude, I would take this one over Cannoneer versus Imovov. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, yeah, a hundred percent. This. Dude, Mikey, Kate, was, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll continue going, dude. I'm just sorry. I'm getting all excited because we, we're <laughs> – and the more we're getting into the United States, the more we're starting to see superstars yeah. be built, right? So 100%. we'll move on to the next one. You ready? Well, real quick too, the, the post-fight interview, I just want to give a shout-out to Frank. We all know he's the best translator in the game, but his ability to not only translate what Rod Tang's saying, but Rod Tang's emotion. Uh, emotion. Come Dude, on. it's like he was on the verge of tears. And I was like, this guy is so fucking incredible. He's so he's good. He's not just a translator. He's an interpreter. You know? And it's like, Do you remember that one when they were like, hey, and Frank, sir, you know, Chachi is giving you $50,000 yeah. to the to the translator too. And you're like, Dude, that's crazy. Amazing. But this is why, right? Because he's yeah. able to translate the emotion as well. He's so good. He's money. He's so good. Uh, that's just says the entire card was lit. I totally get your yeah. excitement, dude. It was, yeah. it was awesome. It was awesome. And then, uh, <laughs> Blunderbub, I think Blunderbub. one should have banned titles and divisions and just give us banger after banger, super fight after super fight. Blunderbub, would you almost go. say sloppy bangers or not? <laughs> yeah, you see what I did there? I brought it back, flipped it on, flipped it. Yeah, on. <laughs> all right. So, uh, hey, let's go up to the next fight. Yeah, good callback. <laughs>